oh, I really want to buy one of your products, but I don't want to be spending all this money on hotels every time that I want to get laid. Or the married guys, oh, I don't want to have to get hotels every single time. You don't have to do that. Okay, you can do that as a last resort. Let's say the girl's a nine, and you get to this part of where you're framing things, and then she says, oh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to have you over here, but I have a roommate, and she doesn't like visitors. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I wanna to talk about what to do if you live at home or if you otherwise do not have a place where you can bring girls back. Maybe you're married, maybe you have roommates that don't allow visitors, maybe you're on a military base, okay? There's all these different considerations. So I'm gonna show you in this video how you can still fuck the girls without having to empty your pockets out for hotels and Airbnbs every single time you close. Okay, before we get into that, if you're not yet a subscriber, this channel offers straightforward, no bullshit, practical dating advice. Please subscribe below and press the notification bell if you are not a subscriber or if you are new to the channel. And if you are looking to skyrocket your results very quickly in a matter of a couple weeks, I can talk to you about the eight week mentorship program, jump on a free 30 minute call, you'll speak to me and we will go over exactly how I can help you, okay? So, what do you do? I get asked this question all the time. It's actually a very easy little quick fix, okay, in order to still bang chicks if you don't have your own place. So let's walk through exactly what that entails. So normally, there are two routes, okay? Let's say that you do have your own place, so I'll recap this. Normally, you're gonna invite the girl for coffee or drinks and a public date right near your house, okay, so you have good logistics to bring her home afterwards, or you're gonna invite her straight to your house, okay? Over text, I have scripts that go over exactly how to invite the girl straight to the house, and then you're gonna close straight away at the house and skip the public date, okay? But if you don't have your own place, here are the modifications that you need to make. Number one, if you are doing a public date, you need to set the date near her house, okay? So you need to find out, hey, what area of the city do you live in? Can you give me like, you know, the general area, the cross streets or landmark or whatever, right? And then what you do is you go on Google Maps and you search coffee near this area, drinks, bars near this area. You wanna find a coffee shop or a bar as close to her house as possible, okay? I've tried before saying, hey, tell me a, a good coffee shop near your house, tell me a good bar near your house, right? Because when I go in for Christmas or something like this and I don't have my own place, I'm staying with family, I will be banging at the chick's house. So, but I found the problem with that, if you ask her to pick the place, she doesn't take into account what's the closest place to my house, she's just going to pick anything. Okay, so she's gonna pick maybe something that's like 20 minutes away or whatever, and that blows the logistics. You want it to be as close to the house as possible. So I found out what area of the city does she live in? We pick, uh, I, I choose the coffee or drink spot. Okay, how about this spot here, okay? Now, you also probably want to screen to make sure that it's, that it's okay to go back to her place afterwards, okay? So what, do you, what you would do there is you would say, hey, um, you know, I have some time after, it would be cool if we have chemistry, maybe to watch a movie or something, what do you think? Yeah, that could be cool as long as there's chemistry. Okay, well normally uh, I'd invite you over to my place, but I'm currently, now here's the excuses you give. I'm currently in between apartments, or you can say I'm currently crashing with family, or my place is being renovated. Okay, you don't wanna make it look low value. You don't wanna say something like, hey, well, uh, I live at home, you know, because then she's gonna assume, you know, Maybe he's broke. Maybe he, you know, this negative social thing. If you're married, you don't want to say, oh yeah, I live with my wife, right? You know, it's gonna raise red flags to the girl. You can tell her about that situation later, but you typically don't want to do that. So I tell guys, you can turn it into a DHV, a demonstration of higher value. If you say, oh yeah, I have a really, like a, a cool place in the city, I have a penthouse, it's being renovated. Or you can say, one of my relatives is sick right now, and I'm spending some time with family. Or another good one is you could say you just moved back to the area. I just moved back to the area, I'm currently looking for a place. Okay, so, you, so now you have the excuse why you can't go to your place. If we have chemistry, is it cool if we hang out at your place afterwards, okay? Now, if she says no, like maybe she lives with her parents or she has roommates that don't allow uh, visitors over, then in that case, I wouldn't meet the girl. Okay, this is up to you but that blows the logistics for on both sides. Meaning, you can't pull her back to your house 
And now her house isn't an option either. So even if the date goes amazing, and I've been in this situation before and it's super frustrating, even if the date goes amazing, there's nowhere to go to have sex afterwards. Okay, and the only option is to get a hotel or an Airbnb. And the focus of this is not to resort to those options because if you're closing regularly or if you put on rotation, that's gonna start to add up if you have to get a hotel or an Airbnb every single time. Okay, so you would pre-screen, but you want to you want to do it very lightly. You don't want to make her make a decision about allowing a stranger to come back to her house before there's any compliance or any investment or any vibe whatsoever. Let's say it's an online game lead. You've never met this girl before. She knows nothing about you. You're not important to her at all yet. Okay, there's zero compliance or very minimal compliance. So when you say like, hey, can we go back to your place after? It needs to be in a very lighthearted way. So I'll say like, you know, not to get ahead of ourselves, ha ha, but I'm in the mood to watch something funny today. Assuming we have chemistry, are you down to watch a movie after, right? Yes. Okay, well, no matter about you to my place, but I just moved back to the area, but I just moved back, you know, I'm, I don't have my own place right now. I'm looking for a place. Is it cool? Normally I'd invite you over here. I always say that too, if, it, if you're trying to invite to her place. Normally I'd invite you over to my place, but, X, Y, Z, is it cool if we meet at your place after, assuming we have chemistry, of course. Oh yeah, I think that could be okay if there's chemistry. Okay, cool, go and do the date. And now it's already pre-framed also to go back to her place, right? So you have less work to do on the date. Okay, if you're setting a date straight to the house, AKA straight to her house, you still use that same type of script. Let me show you how this looks. Okay, you're texting back and forth. Hey, are you free? Tuesday, yeah, yes, I think so. Okay, let's plan for Tuesday at seven. Okay, sounds good. I've been really in the mood to watch something funny lately. I've been really in the mood to like order Thai food or whatever the fuck, right? Are you down to order some food in? Are you down to watch a movie, right? Um, yeah, I think I could be up for that. Cool, well normally I'd invite you to my place, but I'm in between apartments right now. But my apartment's being renovated right now. But I just moved back to the area and I'm crashing with family. Is it cool if we meet over your place, right? And then, you know, you could even throw in, but don't worry, I don't have any sexual expectations, ha ha. Because she's immediately gonna think, okay, this guy's just looking to get laid, right? He's inviting himself straight over my place. And this video isn't about how to answer objections. There's, there's gonna be objections typically when you invite to you, straight away to your house, or if you invite straight away to her house, there's gonna be objections, okay? I have a big objections flowchart that handles comfort objections, safety objections, logistics objections, hookup objections, et cetera, et cetera. That's in my leads machine product at www.sexleadmachine.com. It's also covered in the mentorship. Okay, you get all the texting charts in the mentorship. And if you're interested in that, you can jump on the free 30 minute call to discuss joining that program. Okay, but that is basically how you do it. So you either try to find out where she lives and then ask for coffee or drinks, suggest a place near her house, or you invite her straight to the house. First of all, getting her on board to meet up to watch a movie or to order food or something like this and then say, well normally, and look how you're like, you're gaining like stepwise compliance, okay? First of all, you're setting the date, you're setting the day and time, okay? So now she's already invested, she's agreed to meet you on Tuesday at seven. Now you say, oh, do you like funny movies? Yes, okay, now you got her a bit further. Cool, I'm in the mood to watch something funny today or on Tuesday, whatever. How do you feel about, you know, watching something funny together. Oh yeah, I think I could be down for that. Or objections, and then you deal with them based on the charts and those products. If she, okay, then when you got her on board, you know, it's easier for the girl to come to your house than for her to allow a stranger into her house. But now you've got her one step closer, and then you do the little switch. Oh, okay, cool, normally I'd invite you over here, but I'm in between places right now. I'm, I'm having my place renovated, I'm with family. I'm just moved back to the area. Is it cool if we meet at your place? But don't worry, I have no sexual expectations, ha ha. Right, so you're preempting the, any worries she has about this being just a, a hookup request, okay? And that's it. Then I, I've had, when I've been home for Christmas, I've had runs where I'm like at different girls' houses, like two or three a day, okay? And it's funny, because they'll have like fucking cats running around and like mess everywhere and all this shit in some of their houses. Um, but then it's easy to bounce after too. Oh, actually I have this thing to do, uh, you know, we'll hang on another time. Boom, right, you don't have to like, go through this whole process to like get them on board to leave and all those things. Not, you know, just as a side note, right? So that, I hope that's helpful. I get guys uh, that 
are interested in coaching and they're like, oh yeah, I really wanna do this coaching, but I don't have my own place yet, so there's no way I can get laid. False. Oh, I really wanna buy one of your products, but I don't wanna be spending all this money on hotels every time that I wanna get laid. Or the married guys, oh, I don't wanna have to get hotels every single time. You don't have to do that. Okay, you can do that as a last resort. Let's say the girl's a nine and you get to this part of where you're framing things and then she says, oh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd like to have you over here, but I have a roommate and she doesn't like visitors. Oh, that's cool. Um, well, how do you feel about getting a hotel? Because I'm currently looking for places to live, but don't worry, it's not all fucking serious, ha, ha, ha. Or you can just go on the date so that you don't spook her in advance and then propose the whole the hotel idea afterwards because you could say, oh, I, we can't go to my place, can't go to your place. So let's let's get a hotel and, and watch some movie or let's, you know, just so we can hang out. You you frame it kind of anti-hookup, right? Oh, it's not a hotel to just have like a fuck fest. It's a hotel to just have some, you know, time one-on-one -on -one so we're not like making out in public, ha, ha, ha. Okay, and then one thing leads to another. So I hope that was helpful, but that is how you do it. I've been getting requests. I'm trying to honor requests when people ask about these things. Somebody asked in one of the comments to do a video about this. So that's how you do it. Okay, if you wanna learn my whole system and learn how to get five to 10 dates a week, setting them up, even if you don't have your own place, either in public or a lot of them coming straight to the house, jump on that free 30 minute call. I'll show you how I can get you very good, very fast, take you from whatever level you're at to getting you to your goals very quickly. And if you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below, press notification. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. There's gonna be a new video uh, coming soon with a couple of the girls from the house. We'll introduce another one of the girls besides Liz. And we're gonna talk about how we had three different five sums in the past week and other four sums and shit like that as well. It's been pure mayhem over here. But we're gonna get into some of those details. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video. And I'm sure all these other dating coaches are having multiple five sums in a week as well. They don't even post uh, pictures or, or hidden camera in fields of picking up even one girl, okay? All they have is these, these hidden, ugly girlfriends and wives behind the scenes, okay? Congratulations. Let's go dating industry, hurrah, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.